What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been paying attention recently, you know that this moped right here, this Pook Maxi, looking kind of beautiful right now. Dang. Yeah, I've been ripping this thing a lot and really enjoying just mopeds in general, the process of working on them, riding them, getting better on them. Mine, it's honestly lasted pretty well. And just to go over it again, basically what I've done to this thing so far, I have a 70cc kit, a 19 millimeter Delorto carburetor, got a Pook Proma exhaust right there. I've probably put like 20 hours on it so far with this 70cc kit and everything has been super reliable but recently i was actually out for a longer cruise and it started to break up and almost sound like it was misfiring and then when i finally pulled over it died and completely lost spark after that but i went over the wiring for the whole thing and it all looks pretty good like i can't find anything wrong with the wiring so the next thing that people were telling me to do was the ignition coil and this basically controls the spark from the stator and it goes to the spark plug right so what i do is i installed a new one of these i got a new spark plug wire new spark plug boot there's a new spark plug in there and i'm not gonna lie I was pretty confident that that was going to fix the problem. It still has no spark. So the next thing on my list to check is going to be this kill switch right here. I have a suspicion that this switch right here isn't making like proper connection underneath this. So what I got was just a simple rocker on off switch from Ace Hardware. I'm thinking I'm just going to connect the wires from this to this switch and see if it's the actual switch that's not making the connection. Hopefully it works. We'll see. Touch point. Oh, this a little clip. Rip, rip, hit the kill switch. I got fake plays, I got real hits. This brown one should be a ground right here, and then these two are just kind of the connecting wires. If you just connect these two blacks together right here, wrap those together, and then keep this brown separate, put them on a two-way switch, something like this, it should just be both blacks to one side and then the brown to the other side, and that should basically do the same exact thing as that three-way switch was doing. Auto-tune, perfect pitch, and you still miss with game over, that's a little flip. I'm at all right, guys, the next step that I'm going to do on this moped to try and reestablish some spark here is I'm going to go ahead and pull the flywheel and stator off. There's a little piece behind that that's called the condenser. I don't know exactly what it does, but this is what I've been told could be the last thing that is causing my bike to not have spark. Right now, we're just going to pull off the flywheel, try and pull off the stator, and I go from there. I'm at independent living. I'm at Will Smith. And now you want to be careful because apparently there's something called a woodruff key in here that kind of aligns it and you don't want to lose that. Also, these are magnets, so it's kind of weird to pull off. So that's the inside of your flywheel. This is really cool. I've never seen any of this before. Set that aside and that right there is the woodruff key and that's what aligns your flywheel. Yeah, jig is up, come pick it up. Hey, I'm underground, let's dig it up. And there you go, they're all out, so they're gonna be ready to pull out from the other side now. Never big enough, never satisfied. They said give it up, that's some bad advice. And there you go, the stator is out. Had to work, had to sacrifice. This ain't Casablanca, this ain't black and white. Space Jam rolling like it's 96. Freaky Friday, the Ferrari got the body switch. I got a humming like somebody rich. I don't know a man, but he probably pissed. I keep a slide like it's Rocky Six. And on the law, I get the hockey wrist. From the sticks, it's obvious. All right, guys, I finally got it all back together. We got the stator on here with the flywheel. I got it all torqued up, car was back on. I'm gonna pull the spark plug out really quick and just do a quick test to see if we have spark. And if we do have spark, guys, I'm gonna try and start this thing up. Oh. What the heck? All right, guys, we've been working on this moped for too long. It's been like forever since I've been able to ride this thing. You guys saw earlier in the video, I basically tried everything I could do with this moped to try and get it to make spark again using the stock stator and ignition and everything. Still unable to get spark. What I ended up doing was just dropping a little bit of money and getting a CDI. So that's basically an electronic ignition for these mopeds. It's supposed to make them perform way better. The throttle's supposed to be way snappier, stronger spark, you know, more consistent. So that's what I did. I ended up getting a power dynamo which is one of the nicest ones you can buy hopefully i can get it running but this is it right here for a lot of packaging here so basically so this right here is the regulator slash rectifier spark plug wire a new ignition coil for it and then the big dog right here which is the actual stator there's the actual stator right there and then this right here is the new flywheel so this is basically an entire new ignition system for this bike and i'm really hoping we can throw it on there and get some good spark and finally rip this thing again because it's been too long man i'm dying i'm dying to ride this thing and you may have noticed i'm actually in a new garage right now i recently moved and my guy slum moto he's got a youtube channel you should follow him he's been letting me kind of crash my bikes in his garage yeah that's where we're at so we're about to get started with this install and hopefully guys this is the last thing we have to do with this moped 
I don't want to work on this thing anymore in this video. I just want to ride it. So let's get to it. I'm a slap shot Bobby if you copy this. Tosh point out, oh, this is a little clip. This is a little clip. Rip, rip, hit the kill switch. You guys already saw me pull the stator off earlier in the video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull off the stock stator, get all the stock stuff out of here, and ready to put the power dynamo in there. So, y'all got fake plays, I got real hits. Auto tune, perfect pitch, do you still miss? With game over, that's a little flip. I'm an independent legend, I'm a Will Smith. The jig is up, come pick it up. Hey, I'm underground, let's dig it up. What simple there he is this side of the sharpie or my side of the sharpie fly with on spinning over and find top dead center you can crank it down one millimeter we're gonna do 1.7 to this side of the sharpie Back. So once you turn it and you catch it, it'll act like a piston stop. Mm -hmm. Pull it off. And that's where you want to line up to. And then you find your mark. Mark it up with the case mark. Pull the smack. Undo. Timing tool, piston stop, Put this in, tightening it down, piston stop out, timing tool back in. That looks good. Because that's 1.7. You might be at like 1.6 or something because it's a little farther. Yeah. So it's within range, mm -hmm. I would say. It's within so uh, it's trying. Worth trying, yeah. Yeah, worth trying rather than pulling it off and trying again. That's all you can really do yeah. after you get it to a point where it's set. What you looking for, I help you find it. I got the plug with the gas, it's a hybrid. They want 50-50. So that's power, the spark plug. So can it run with that and maybe the ground? Yes, ground this. Yeah. And we should be able to have spark. Ready? Yep. No way! Yeah. Yes! I'm hype. Hell yeah. You wanna try it? Yeah. It's got compression still at least. I'm gonna try and ride it down the street. Well, that's good. is so fun now don't get me wrong it was fun in the past but this cdi basically just takes this thing from like a fast fun moped to like the next level it doesn't have that much more power but it's just the snappiness the the response of it The throttle response is just crazy now. It feels like you go from a carbureted bike to like a fuel injected bike. All the lights, I got LED lights on it now because this stator makes so much more power. The old one, it was idling. It was just the lights that were on it would just like literally almost turn off because it couldn't create enough power. But now like we got LEDs in the front and the back. It's like the ultimate goon machine. It's so fun, man. I love this thing. It helps a ton with stuff like this, too. Like, slow speed, man. That throttle response just makes all the difference. 
if you can see in there, I basically cut out a lot of the stock wiring harness and kind of made my own. I reused a lot of the wires, but it's still super like janky. Some of the wires are way too long. I just got them all stuffed under there and they're like loose back here behind the headlight and everything. The power dynamo right here. This thing makes so much more power. The lights are way brighter. The response is so much better. And it actually wasn't that hard to tune. Like it only took us like one time of installing it to tune. Normally you got to put it on and make sure the timing's good. If it's a little off, you take it off, rotate it a little bit, put it back on. But we got it first try. It's been running good. So I'm like honestly really happy with how this thing's turned out. And this side, this is the regulator for the lights and the new ignition coil. You can see the wires are just like zip tied everywhere. Nothing professional right now, but hey, the bike runs. That's all I wanted to do before winter time, make this thing rip. Maybe this winter I'll do like a full rebuild on this thing, make it super nice, but I'm, I'm really happy with it for now. The next things I want to do to this motor, I, I really want to get a kickstart kit for it um, because once you get the kickstart kit, I can get rid of these pedals and put pegs here so it's more like a dirt bike. For now, we got the pedals and the, uh, the clutches up here to start it, but the front suspension is super weak. You can probably see the wheel like flimsying around when I'm doing wheelies. It's not good. So front suspension is definitely on the list to get done, but for now, man, it rips and I'm just going to enjoy it. Like it's already October, man. There's not that much more time left in the year. So I'm just going to enjoy it and rip it while I can. So this is definitely a good mod though, dude. The power dynamo is a huge difference. <laughs> And here comes Carl. Carl got a sir on recently, man. He's been killing it on this thing. Oh, he hit the knee knock. Okay. Ew. You just got that, right? Yeah. Let's do a little drag. Hey, let me hit that line. All right. All right. Oh, I might have him, honestly. Oh, he got me barely. Oh, a little Suron action. I don't know how this even works. Oh, dude, this is so weird. Oh my, yo, this is sick. Holy crap. I'm scared, bro. Oh my, oh my God. Dude, the torque is insane. Oh my God, what the fuck? Yo, this is so sketchy. See, this is the thing, like, you see how easily I wheelie my moped, and then when someone else gets on it, it seems like it has no power, right? So, a lot of people that are wheeling the mopeds, man, they just think they need more power, more power, more power, but really, it's all in the technique. It's all about how you're sitting, how your body weight is, everything. Woo! I can see why these are fun, though. Oh, my gosh. That is so sick. Stoppy? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we really got the mini squad out here. A moped, a scooter, and a Suron. Who would have thought? This is literally 2021 bike life, man. Hello, mister. We got electric bikes out here. We got bikes from the 80s. Hello, brother. I know this moped video turned into a Suron video, but whoa, whoa! Yeah. What you looking for? I help you find it. I got the club with the gas. It's a <laughs> hey, Carl. Hit him with the knee knock, bro. That's so dope on the Suron. The drum brake gets hot. Yeah. So sometimes you'll drop back and it's like, whoa. Jesus. <laughs> Do a backflip. Imagine you let it go and catch it. Oh, 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 oh. Suron stunt. Oh. <laughs> this is the most random turn of events, but somehow I'm on a 2021. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. He took this off the lot yesterday, he said. I don't want to dog dude's bike too much, but god dang, this thing is sick. That was kind of a random end to this video, but basically, if you have one of these, get a CDI. It is worth it. I'll see you in the next one, boys.